everyone. My name is Glamy Rodriguez, and I'm a management and engineering for manufacturing major at the University of Connecticut. I'm also a SunGate student ambassador, and today I'm going to spend a few minutes showing you everything you need to know about WebAssign. If you aren't familiar, WebAssign is an online homework platform that includes access to your e-textbook, study tools, assignments, and more. After you watch this video, you'll know how to use your e-textbook within WebAssign, access and complete assignments, and check your grades. I'll also show you a few helpful tips to make the most out of WebAssign. To start, you're going to want to make sure that you already sign up for your WebAssign course and that you already have a Cengage account and access. If you haven't already created an account, logged in and access WebAssign, you're going to want to first visit startstrong.cengage.com. Learn how to register for your course before checking out the rest of this video. The first step to using WebAssign is logging in. Reference your instructions from your professor to determine if you should log into WebAssign through your learning management system like Blackboard, Canvas, D2L, Moodle, or if you should directly log in from Cengage.com. If you're logging in through your learning management system, you'll typically see links to individual assignments, readings, and activities that will take you directly to WebAssign. If your instructor hasn't put links to WebAssign in your LMS course, you'll just go to Cengage.com and log into your account to access WebAssign. Once you're in WebAssign, you'll have access to your ebook, assignments, resources, and more. On the left side of your homepage, you'll find all of your current class assignments and their due dates. You can also click My Assignments at the top to view all of your assignments along with your grades. Now on the right, you'll also see My Class Insights. This tool pulls in all of your progress from your past assignments and tells you which topics you need to work on. You can also access extra practice for your trouble areas. To access your ebook, you can select My Ebooks at the top of the page or navigate to the bottom and access your ebook from there. Here, you'll also see grades and messages from your professor. This will also be where you find any resources that your professor has provided for your course. Here in the resource tab, you can see PowerPoint slides or videos if your professor chooses to make those available. Let's take a look at your ebook. Many ebooks within WebAssign use the MindTap Reader, which includes a lot of extra features. Use the media index to select a section or search in the top right where you can search for a specific page, specific content, or anything that you've saved before. Once you navigate to what you're interested in, you'll see several buttons in the upper right hand corner that you can use as you read. First, you can click on the little speech icon to have the whole page or a highlighted portion of the text read out loud to you. You can also change the font size, bookmark, or print over here. To navigate to the next page, you can click the arrows or go back to the table of contents. You can also see that some pages have videos and other content directly embedded. As you're reading, feel free to highlight any part of the page. Once you highlight, you can change the color, add notes, and add that section as a flashcard. All of your edits are saved within your ebook, so you can reference them later while studying. Let's take a look at a typical WebAssign assignment. So when you start an assignment, you'll see the assignment instructions and the due date here at the top. You may also see the ability to request an extension if your professor allows it. As you go through the assignment, you'll notice learning tools such as read it, watch it, and master it. These buttons appear at the bottom of questions and they link to extra resources that can help you answer the question. It can be a video, a section of the ebook, or just extra practice for that specific topic. In the top right corner, you'll also have an ask your teacher button. If you get stuck on a question, you can send your instructor a message and they'll be able to see exactly which assignment and which question you're working on along with your message. Once you finish your assignment, you'll see a submit assignment button at the bottom of the page. You can also save your assignment if you wanna come back and work on it later. Once you've completed a couple assignments, you're probably wondering how you can see your grades. You can actually access your gradebook right from the WebAssign home screen. Once you're in the gradebook, you can see your total grade to date at the top with details per assignments below. As a note, your grades also may be flowing over to your LMS gradebook. If you're worried about missing assignments and staying on track in WebAssign, be sure to customize your email notifications by clicking this little envelope in the top right of your home screen. You can enable reminders before due dates so you don't forget about any upcoming assignments. That's really helpful. And while you're here, don't forget that you can access the help guide by clicking the question mark. There's a ton of resources for all of the questions that you may have about WebAssign. All right, everyone, that's it. Easy, right? 
Now, don't forget, if you need help or have any issues, you can reach out to the Cengage support team 24-7. You can reach them by going to support.cengage.com and you can use chat or phone. Thanks for watching this short video and I hope you have a great semester.